Hey everyone, Dante here with The Raging Geek, and today we're going to take a look at Stan Lee. This is a Mego 8-inch action figure. This particular action figure has 14 points of articulation, and Stan Lee, dressed in his, I want to say, iconic red v-neck sweater, and uh, he's got his khakis on, his white tennis shoes... One particular detail that I liked about this action figure was he's got his hands set up like web shooters, which I thought was really cool. When I saw this, I decided to purchase an extra Mego uh, Spider-Man suit. And, uh, you know, when I get it, I'm going to dress him up in it. I didn't get it yet. I just ordered it. But um, this particular action figure goes between $15 and $20. And you can get that at a number of major retailers. And so far I've seen like two other variations of this action figure um, where the clothing is, is different. In my opinion, the red sweater is one of his more iconic looks uh, with his khakis and the uh, white shoes. On the back, you have a uh, pic of Stan Lee himself, Stan the Man Lee. So we're going to open this up. We're going to take a closer look. This is Stan Lee from Mego, and this is an 8-inch action figure. Side of the box is what you're looking at. Stan Lee, I guess, feeling the Spidey vibe, ready to do some web slinging. You know, I have to say, when I when I put Stan in the Spidey suit, it's gonna make for some great pictures. Um, you know, the Mego, 14 points of articulation. You know, not overly uh, posable, but uh, I still think you could do some pretty uh, interesting poses with him. Um, just so you can get a quick close-up of the uh, the detail. But, uh, yeah, close. Uh, it's got a nice, you know, it's got a fair amount of detail. A good likeness to Stan. Not in Stan's later years, but uh, definitely... I want to say probably more to like the 90s, uh, you know, I feel comfortable saying. The red sweater, uh, you know, not overly soft. The khakis have an authentic uh, pant-like feel to them. Uh, I'd say the least amount of detail would be the shoes, but uh, definitely good enough. So as far as posability, let's take a look. I mean, can you do like a crazy Spider-Man pose? You know, it seems like you could get away with something like that. Probably more so when he has a Spidey suit on. You know, the pants uh, and the sweater are a little restrictive. But um, you can imagine Stan doing some web slinging. Something uh, Spidey-esque. Hey, web slinging lovers. This is Stan Lee. <laughs> now, you know, it would have been absolutely perfect if they would have put two sets of hands, but... You know, frankly, you know, it doesn't really detract too much from the figure. You know, in the event you wanted to do some sort of photo where you know, he wasn't trying to be a web slinger, it would have been nice to have an extra set of hands. Great action figure, good likeness. Definitely a, a figure you could have a lot of fun with. Me personally, I got this for $15. So I was like, and I was actually taken back by that price. You know, with all the other... Uh, Hasbro figures going for like double the price these days. I think Mego really trying to appeal to the budget collector. You know, the, the price of action figures these days has really gone through the roof. You know, companies keep increasing their prices and they're really offering very little 
to the customer in return for those price in increases. So I think Mego really capturing a segment of the uh, of the market share. Uh, and you know, it's, there's definitely a difference between Amigo and uh, you know a Marvel Legends figure. You know, I guess with articulation, but you know, this is a great Stanley figure. I mean, one way or the other. I mean, articulation or not, for fifteen dollars, I'd buy this over a, a Marvel Legends Stanley figure any day. I mean, look at it. I mean, it does the job. I mean, it's great. Check Amazon, eBay. Other uh, retailers that carry Migos, you're looking at anywhere between fifteen and twenty dollars. This is Stanley, eight-inch action figure, fourteen points of articulation. Get it now. A couple of variations of this figure, so uh, you know if you don't like the red, there's a couple of other options as far as uh, clothing. And that's it. This was the Raging Geek. I hope you enjoyed this video. Come again soon. Take care. Excelsior! 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 Raging Geek Retro All Things Geek We're Geeks and Be Geeks Raging Geek All things geek. We're geeks and be geeks.